Azoth is the lifeblood of New World. It's a mysterious, magical substance that can be found around Eternum, and while we don't know everything about it yet, we do know that it can be found in four main ways. The first way is through questing. Early on, the primary way you'll earn Azoth is from completing quests. If they are main story quests, they can earn you up to 100 per shot. Side quests will earn you in the neighborhood of 20. Quests from faction leaders and town boards don't provide Azoth because they typically provide you with a different currency. But keep an eye for yellow pins throughout the town. Those NPCs can reward Azoth with their quests. The next way is to earn Azoth by farming mobs. You can farm normal mobs throughout the world that are over level 20 and they have the potential to drop Azoth. It's going to be few and far between though, so it's not a very reliable way to earn Azoth. The best way to grind out Azoth is by closing Corrupted Breaches. Once you're in your 20s and have earned your Azoth staff, start closing these breaches. You'll find them all throughout the map. There are little red dots and they are prevalent during invasions. You'll earn all the Azoth you need. This is by far the fastest and most efficient way to earn Azoth. The final way to earn Azoth is by harvesting and equipping a tool that has the Azoth Extraction perk. I was able to purchase a pickaxe that allowed me to get one Azoth after harvesting a node 34% of the time. I can tell you that RNG is very heavy with this because I had to harvest about 10 nodes before I picked up my first Azoth. And it was literally only one Azoth. So again, this is a nice supplementary way to gain Azoth as you're harvesting, but it is a terrible way to go out and farm for Azoth. There's also a perk called Azoth Attuned that you can put on your armor or bags, which allows you to gain more Azoth when you collect Azoth. So while this won't increase the frequency in which you collect Azoth, it will increase how much of it you earn each time you do collect it. So that's how we earn Azoth. But what do we actually use it for? There are three primary uses for Azoth in Eternum right now. First and foremost is fast travel. There are no mounts in Eternum, and you'll find yourself running all over the map early on. As you unlock towns and fast travel points, also known as shrines, you'll be tempted to warp from point A to point B. This costs Azoth. The further you travel, the more encumbered you are, and whether your faction controls the area you're teleporting from or teleporting to will all dictate how much Azoth the fast travel will cost you. Also remember you can only fast travel between shrines and settlements. While you can recall from the world to your home or to an inn, you can't fast travel out of the wild world to a shrine or an inn. The next biggest use for Azoth is crafting. You can spend in multiples of 15 up to 75 Azoth per craft. The more Azoth you spend, the higher the chance you'll get an additional attribute, perk, or gem slot on the crafted item. Finally, you'll use Azoth to respect your weapon talents. While it costs gold to respect your character attributes, it costs Azoth to respect your weapons. That's about everything we know about Azoth in New World right now. What it is, where we can find it, and what we can use it for. I'm Rob, thanks for watching. Keep your eyes on the channel for additional upcoming New World guides. Remember, if you enjoyed this video or found value from it, hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks and bye for now.